ఫస్ట్ ప్రోగ్రమేటిక్ అప్రోచెస్ ఏఓపి ప్రోగ్రమేటిక్ అప్రోచ్ ప్రోగ్రమేటిక్ అప్రోచ్ మెథడ్ బిఫోర్ అడ్వైస్ ఓకే ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ బిఫోర్ అడ్వైస్ మెథడ్ బిఫోర్ అడ్వైస్ సో టు ఇంప్లిమెంట్ ఏఓపీస్ రిక్వైర్డ్ జార్ ఫైల్స్ ఆర్ ఫర్ ఏఓపి రిక్వైర్డ్ జార్ ఫైల్స్ ఏఓపి లైబ్రరీ ఐఓసి లైబ్రరీ అండ్ వన్ సిజిలిబ్ లైబ్రరీ యాడ్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ జార్స్ యాడ్ లైబ్రరీ యూజర్ లైబ్రరీ క్రియేట్ వన్ యూజర్ లైబ్రరీ హియర్ ఏఓపి యాడ్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ జార్స్ యా ఫస్ట్ కోర్ లైబ్రరీ వీ హ్యావ్ టు యాడ్ కోర్ జార్స్ ఆర్ కామన్స్ లాగింగ్ అండ్ వాట్ కామన్స్ లాగింగ్ కోర్ కాంటెక్స్ట్ బీన్స్ ద నెక్స్ట్ ఫర్ ఏఓపి ఏఓపి జార్స్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఏఓపి స్ప్రింగ్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ అండ్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ జే లైబ్రరీ ఏఓపి అలియన్స్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ ఏ జన్ రన్ టైమ్ లైబ్రరీ ఆస్పెక్ట్ వీవర్ అండ్ వన్ సీజీలిబ్ లైబ్రరీ సీజీలిబ్ ఈజ్ మ్యాండేటరీ హియర్ వై బికాస్ ఇట్ విల్ జనరేట్ ప్రాక్సెస్ రైట్ ఎట్ రన్ టైమ్ సో దట్ సీజీలిబ్ ఆల్సో రిక్వైర్డ్ హియర్ now add this aop to application then create one business card business <coughs> write one business class bank business class bank take some inputs card private int amount and account number private string account number sbi 1 2 3 okay now write here methods public into deposit take method inputs into string account number mind amount okay first here you need to check account number is matching with existing account number or not this dot account number if match add this dot amount equal to this dot amount plus local variable amount amount finally return this dot amount else if account number wrong actually we have to throw exception here we should not return zero balances if account number wrong it should not allow okay in case else throw a exception or else return a default zero here instead of returning zero just i'll throw an exception from here okay throws throw new exception create one exception class here write exception class class account number exception account number not found account number not found exception extend this class from exception class just override to string method return your exception message account number invalid throw new account number not found exception extend it from run time exception if it is from run time exception it will not ask us again here to handle right okay in case if account number is valid we are trying to returning amount here in case if account number not valid 
we are trying to throwing exception from here account not found exception okay we have business we have business here for that business just i want to write logging instead of writing logging here actually what we should do if you don't know aop you should implement log here only log factory dot get log this dot class it will return as a log object okay basing this log what happened here syntax error class def identifier expected okay l dot info deposit method okay so like this we have to write service here we have to create a logger object and we have to write service here but uh, to do clear logic separation instead of writing service here this service you should write in a separate class and like how you are executing the service here in the same way from there also you should have capability to execute service okay so don't write the service here write the service in separate class write the services they write one log before service log before service implement it from method before advice in this method before advice we have one method before method actual parameters order is different one is first one is method the next one is object parameters and the third argument is object and it is throwing it is throwing exception or throwable throwable so if there is an exception here you no need to handle it okay and write that logging here okay now this code need to execute before my deposit before my deposit method execution just i want to execute this logging this service i want to execute so then write a client class we know right how to add yeah just i'll write a client class here and then how to add first we need to create create target target means bank business bank we equal to new bank then create advice advice means your service log before service new log before service then what we have to do add target plus advice to proxy so the proxy class name is proxy factory bin equal to new proxy factory bin then what we have to do pfb dot set target we need to set target target reference is b then pfb dot add okay okay sorry add okay i'll go through set interceptor names here we need to add string array of names add here that name the name is what lbs log before service just add that name here in the form of string just add your service string name only here okay then what we should call get generated proxy object actually we are adding our business and the service to the proxy proxy we internally it will prepare a proxy object in that proxy what it will do it will combine your business code along with your service code whenever you try to call pfb dot get object it will return as proxy object that proxy is child class for your business then you can get bank proxy here type cast it into bank type now execute bank proxy dot to deposit method 
by giving account number account number is what SBI 1 2 3 and already initially we have 5000 try to deposit 5 more here finally return amount run this what illegal statement exception no bean factory available anymore probably due to serialization cannot resolve interceptor names In XML file, actually, we have to use this. Use add advice. Add this log before service care. Okay. In case of XML configurations, you can go through setter method. You can use this setter method. Actually, we have to go through this method only while configuring this through XML file. We are not using any factory here, right? We are not using J2W factory and core factories. Just programmatically, we are trying to adding, right? So go through add advice method. Now run this. First your business code. Okay, okay. Actually, this one is return value, right? Go to business there, write debug statement here. System dot out dot println in deposit method. First executing your service, the next it is executing your method. Okay, first executing service, then later it is executing here your method, deposit method executing after your service. Here it is implementing, I mean, here logging printing, right? Info deposit method executed. So, your service executing before your deposit method. In case if you want to execute your service after your deposit method, just you have to implement it from after returning advice after returning advice here they given one method after method after returning method after returning method it will it will return as object and object are of parameters and one method argument along with this it will return one more value object return value it will return us one more value return value also it will return to us after execution of your business it will send a return value to us that return value also you can print here along with your logging if you want to print return value you can print return value here okay first it will execute deposit then next it will execute your service so implement one service here using after returning advice AOP simple programmatic after returning advice add library user library AOP Okay, log before service. Just make it log after service. Log after service. Implement the service from just implement it from after returning advice. After returning advice. There we have one method after returning. The method name is after returning. Put this code under after returning after returning method and method input parameters are object method and your input parameters and finally return value 
you can print return value also here what about this object and method and object parameters what are these what are all these for what they given this input here in case if your service requires your method input parameters here for doing any introspection getting here if your method if it want to do any introspection by using these parameters they given here your class object it will pass which object your bank object only it will pass here your bank method deposit method input parameters only it will pass here through method your deposit method only it will pass here so by using that method by using your parameters by using your object you can do introspection here means if you want to do any i mean um, if you required any input parameters to execute this code here like if you want to check account number is valid or not from here itself you required account number right so then by using this object to parameters you can get this account number and amount here and you can apply security you can check your account number here if account number is fine then redirect to your deposit or else from here itself you just throw exception getting why they given this input parameters in before method and in after method just for doing introspection okay yeah now after service implemented here run your client class first business code need to execute then after it need to execute after service deposit method after executing it and here bank class object printing it so this last argument is not return value it is actually your object the first one is return value okay the first argument is return value then the last argument is your class object deposited amount final amount is 1000 along with logging printing here right but logging is there in service class here actual logging code we have but here it can able to do introspection on your deposit method by using that method inputs